Where's the cold? We're still on our way there. Have a, how long yet? Like 10 minutes? Jesus! Oh. Yeah, uh, notorious Paradise Road. Uh, this place just freaking makes me nervous. Makes you sleepy. Makes you sleepy? <laughs> what well, a phantom truck, dude. Like, wow. that's something. That was. That's kind of. No, that, that alone freaks me out. Like, how, how can that manifest itself, though, you know what I'm saying, like... I don't... You know, how would that manifest itself? I would do it with a phantom engine and a phantom drive. What? Phantom engine and a phantom drive. Phantom engine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, there's a murder case there. What else? They're a little black. Uh, supposedly there's three witches that were hung at one point. Um, there's robed figures that supposedly run around in the woods. Um, satanic rituals. Uh, there's been beheaded animals found on the road. Uh, we already know that there's a pentagram on the road. Yes, there was a kid that was you know, there were some kids in the truck. You don't need that on. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, there was um, some kids that were stopped on the side of the road. It was actually like a week or two after we'd been out yeah, there. Yeah, it was like three days after we were out there. To yeah. Get, yeah. Something. It was really close. Um, and the, the car got rear-ended. So we have to be really careful about where we are when we park yeah. up there. Um, our video will be, uh, there will be probably, I don't think I can upload a bunch of these to our Facebook, but I'm going to try to do, get people involved a little bit more. Um, there will be a show about it. Um, the cops and everything do, do uh, control this area, so we have to make sure that we're not trespassing. We stay on the road um, just to make sure we don't get taken. It is a public barrack area, so um, as long as we don't go off the road, um, we're going to do some quick EVPs and we'll see what we can find. And that's a pretty freaky place. I, I'm actually nervous. I, I don't get nervous that much from the place. Alrighty. Can I do a little intro quick? Yeah. Do Let's just do it in here. Yeah, we are. We got your flashlight. Alright, can you see us on there? Yep. Alright, um, we're at uh, Paradise Road. We're gonna do this as fast as we can. Uh, is that actually. i gonna move this down a bit. Alright, this road is notorious for all kinds of craziness and. What was that? What the fuck was that? Is that your car? No. That sounded like a wolf. That was growling. Sounded like a wolf or a coyote. Alright, okay, keep going. Okay, I'm starting the... I'm not liking this, if there's a wolf or a coyote. It's I've fine, keep got going. got my knife on me. I got a knife on me too. I don't have it. Don't have um, so, yeah, I mean, they're, they're heavy, heavy woods. Um, this is a pretty freaky, freaky place. Uh, what are the reports of this place, Nicole? Um, supposedly there was three witches that were hung um, out here. There are reports of um, robe figures in the woods, um, inhuman screams, Screaming. noises. Um, there was a murder that took place 
um, on one of the houses somewhere down this road. I'm not sure which house, though. It's at an intersection or at a, at a corner house. We've been on a couple of those where we turned real quick. It's so. recording, right, Jesse? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there also have been reports of satanic activity, um, evidence of animals possibly being sacrificed, um, yeah, pentagram burned list. into the road, and there's supposedly a, Ch- a kids have been truck. killed out here. Um, it, it is one. I think it is one of our most freakiest places we've ever attempted to do, and the 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 risk of getting hit by a car is ten times higher than any other road that we have. So we do have. Um, some lights that we're going to have on us. So um, we're going to use a pyrotic dish, uh, full s- uh, it's the flare, night vision, and a digital recorder, and a ghost box. We might do the... No, I don't think we're going to do the, the Voxer thing out here. Just It's just middle of the floor. We woods. need to stay together, I think, at this place. Yeah. All right, so um, let's, let's go, go check out the, the burned uh, pentagram in the road. I, I think it's burned. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, we're going to tr- see if we're actually in that location. Do you guys actually want to scan for animals really quick? Oh, with a flare? Since, um, oh, yeah. I just heard that uh, howl. If you want to wind on the window. A growl? It shouldn't. It, it doesn't. It shouldn't. Well, maybe it will. No. You already need me to roll it down. You'd wanna. Yeah, I'm all done. Go, go back over this way. It looks like somebody was standing right next to the car. Did you get it on camera, Jesse? By chance? Yeah, it's too far away to see it. There it is. I heard that noise again. I know, I was just gonna say, I just heard it. Here, Brian, do I hold the camera back there? I'm gonna use this one and zoom okay. in if I can see it. Whoa, whoa, Sorry, we gotta turn I the just, night vision. I just sh- shut the car off. It has to be your car. I, I, yeah. I can't do it. Well, now it is because I just shut it off, but. No, dude, it's never made a sound like that before. I can't hear. There we go. I'll zoom. I'm gonna record this. So. I swear, I just seen somebody standing right on the side. They had really low temperature. It looked like a human standing there. <clears throat> Nothing on this side. Ryan, you want to take it and go on that side and I'll switch with you here? What we're doing is scanning for animals and just to make sure that we don't get attacked. That was my stomach. I was going to say, that was your stomach. pepto <laughs> Yeah, That was my phone. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move too fast. Nothing. I don't see nothing, just the trees. Okay. Did you get the spotlight out? I have it up here. Okay. I'm gonna try to stay away from that for now. Yeah, unless we really think we need it. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that you guys have it out. It's 38 degrees. Yeah, that's <clears> what <throat> that's what the uh, temperature said inside here. So. Alright, I think it's safe to okay. say to go out there. Alright. I swear, I was like right here. Start an EVP session right away.
Yeah, I think it was up here a little bit more. There was a there was a story. This guy there was a up to the left up here is actually cornfield, and I guess he was taking his dog for a walk, and something fucking attacked his dog. Damn. And they ran home. Yeah, there's like so many different stories about this road. It's <clears throat> I don't know. It's it's fucking weird. I don't see it. It wasn't up this far. You think? Let me check that real quick. Check what? Okay. Good. How am I? You can see me on there, right? It's not too dark. Yeah, it's it's a little dim, but we don't really want too much attention out here either. No. Are they flashing a light up there? Well, up Becky there? said she thought she saw a light up there before. Well, I this can't. is where these like little creatures are supposed to be. So giddy about I'm so I'm jacked up. Some of those flashes of Becky's taking pictures. That's a freaky tree They're combining together right there. Fuck yeah, it is. Like if it was like down like that, like oh my god, oh <laughs> my god. Oh my stomach. Alive. I don't see anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it down the road. See if we can see them down there. Hear something. Mm hmm. Me too. There's a road nest over. No. Something was walking up there. If you want to, what switch? Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you. Uh, we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take the headset. Okay. gonna hear I'm gonna take this so I can hear out into the woods. There's definitely I hear somebody like this. Yeah, I definitely hear something talking up there.
This this can shoot 300 feet away. They must be in their cut. They open the car door. I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Coming this way. What's up? I'm gonna stop. That's all I hear is them. Yeah. What's up? Dumb, so. Like, I can't see into the woods, I can't see anything, and yes, the night shot's on. Well, no, you're not going to. It's... And oh, the only thing we can see into the woods is this. I keep on um, hearing noises down at the other end. And you've got the flare right in yeah. the woods. Do you want to use this, Becky? Mm mm. Not really, I'm, I'm cold. Do we okay. find the pentagram? It's, there's a light. Ooh. I've seen a light. Yeah, I've seen one of those before. I told you, there's something moving down there. Oh, it's gone now? I gotta turn this on. I just, it's up to the right there. You guys gotta be quiet. I'm gonna hit the button. You guys hear that? What the uh -huh. hell is that? It's over here, dude. Dude, that much rolls. It's over here. Straight in. There's something walking towards us. Do I need the phone on the That's kind of weird, right here. Mm-hmm. But, unless there's like water there. It's like upwards though. It's like right in the middle of that dot there. It's like, it's weird. Could be a dead tree. Did you guys find the pentagram? Not yet. No. Yeah. I don't have a flashlight. Yeah. That's not cool. Start running. That's why I had it hooked over the head. Um, got the ghost box. Yeah. Um, you know it's right here. No, oh, just grab it. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, my hands are like. You have a free hand, Becky. Yeah. You know how to use that, right? Yeah. Okay. Skinny, right? Yeah. Keep hearing dogs. Yeah. It's a lot of barking. Yeah, it was my truck. Engine cooling off, I think. Yeah. Let's see if we get some uh, interesting ghost boxes. There's trees around us, so there shouldn't be that many uh my stomach. Focus. Mm. 
Is there a spirit out here that wants to communicate with us? If so, can you speak? Yeah. What? Leave? Did you just tell us to leave? What's your name? How about the kid that, that died last year? What's your name? Are you stuck here? Of Chris. course. Chris? Chris? I thought I said Chris. <coughs> um, yes, if you hit the trigger button in the front. But I didn't. I can actually hear it better. <coughs> Is your name Chris? I'd like to talk to anybody who would be willing to. Let's walk down back down this way. Feel something. I am. I think they might have like a different. That's a dog. That's a dog. Before it wasn't. I can distinctly tell the difference. Is there something dark here that want to speak to us? Is there witches on this in there? Definitely, I definitely feel old magic, like Celtic magic. That's what I feel. Kind of funny because I'm wearing my Celtic necklace tonight. Did you? Yeah. Let me see. I wouldn't have to. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's that. I don't know. Well, no, it wouldn't be this. This is new. Okay. No, I, I mean, this, I feel druid earth magic. See anything, Becky? <laughs> Turn the ghost back stick on. I feel something right here. What is your name? You can speak into the air and we can hear you right away. What? Do you know my name? Would you like to leave this area? Or do you like it here? Are you in pain? You feel... You feel a lot of it, actually.
Do you know the names of the family that was killed, or that the guy was killed on this road? Diane. Is it Diane? Diane was the name of the lady who hired students to kill her husband. Sound like a lot of different voices. I'm hearing them in my head. I can't, I can't, I can't even pinpoint anything. It's, it feels like a... It's like it's getting colder I was out just here too. Say it's getting colder. What's the temperature on there? <clears throat> um, 30s. Yeah, in the 30s. Did you? Did we do any EMF detect readings yet? No, I didn't. I had my hands full. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing stuff behind me. I thought I just picked up something on the camera here. I thought it thought it was a miss, but it could have just been autofocusing, but it looked big. Hello? I'm definitely a lot colder right now. Hello? The one Can you throw something into the woods so I can hear you? Slightest little noise, I can hear it. It's a little slower, Jesse, so I can keep up with the camera. It's trying to autofocus as you move. Let's go down from there. Okay. It's a light on the ground. But you should be able to try not to hit that house out of the way. That's okay. Hi. Uh, yeah, we're watching over. Not that time. It was further down that way, I thought. Yeah, we went all the way down to where the furthest it could have yeah, been. I thought, I thought it was down I thought there. it was right here, actually. Did they maybe like. There's nothing new here. Oh. See, we parked. We parked over there, so it should be right here. Damn. There's a clearing that just. I thought it was on this side. Yeah. It was on this side. There's blood on the ground? Whatever that is. Yeah. I don't think we should really get anything too much of a 
much further yeah. because of the house, the houses. Yeah, I agree. Definitely thought it's in this area though. <coughs> because I remember this opening. Yeah. Yeah, those stones. Alright, I'm gonna do a ghost box again. I don't know if I'm gonna, sw I'm gonna switch to an EMF detector somehow. Um, I think I left my, my phone still in the truck. I want uh, some answers real quick, okay? We don't have long. We need some uh, proof that you exist out here. Can you state your name? Kind of. Kind of? What do you mean, kind of? What is your name? What, what is that? Are you in pain? You have the, where's that digital recorder? It's on the truck. I wanted to keep it away from us. I heard that. It's my walking. Hello? Do you want us to leave? What is it? You run, probably can't see anything with that. No, no, I can't. No. Give him the flashlight. Just give it to me. What's your name? Answer quickly, please. Anything dark out here? Are you afraid of it? What? Wait. Wait? Wait, okay. Do you, would you like to know our names? See anything back here? Hmm? See anything? No. Right. What's your name? The same female. What is your name, please? Do you want to know our names? Constant. Are you enough to see him? Hi. Hello. Are we in danger out here? Hello. 
Are we in danger? How many people died out here? Can you tell us that at least? Did you just say 10? Yeah, what is that? I heard something. Over happens. here. Hello? Someone's talking down the road. I heard a dude talking. I just heard the noise in the woods. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my hands free. I'm gonna shut this off. So I've got my knife off. Back on a tree. That must be you walking, huh? Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah. Around it there, Nicole, and look for it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I'll just eat the seventeen dollars. <laughs> We're. I don't see lost it. Lost the equipment running, running from something. So we're still looking for it, but uh, no, it, we just need to stay. Yeah, it's not, it's not over here. Where I don't know where it went. Wow. It probably it's fell down into the woods. Or I ran it over <laughs> and it got buried. I, I can't see anything with this. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh well. Uh, Sorry, Nicole. Not bad. Right leg. What's going on, Nicole? Apparently, I just.
just lost my recorder. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. Uh, we were running, and I just felt this dark feeling coming over us. And, uh, I can't believe we lost that. That, that sucks. You gotta realize that, you know, if when we are on a road like this, you know, it's especially with all those deaths and everything uh, going on, you know, you really have to be on edge to be alright. Yeah, just chill. It got real cold fast, didn't it? I did. Alright, well, we're gonna be uploading this video um, to YouTube. Uh, didn't get a chance to d use the connect or anything. Uh, didn't have time really to do it. We're probably gonna come back out here now that we can uh, know what spots to go to and, and we weren't interrupted. Well, we were kind of, a car came by, but I felt that car coming too, so I was like, well, it's time to go. And then, then something dark was just sitting on the side of the road there. And I, it wasn't communicating. It wasn't at all. And then we got a lot of the stuff on the on the ghost box and that too. So, did you get any image of what it looked like? Um, skinny, actually. Yeah, like a skinny like gargoyle type looking figure. Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of like that. Yeah. And it's just it's hard to pinpoint things too because it's it really had a. A dead feel to the area, you know what I'm saying? It still had that feel that from the last time we were there. It's silent. It's so quiet. Yeah. Yeah, it's and like then nothing. any little noise you could, you know, you could you could hear it, you know. All right. Well, we're gonna upload what we can uh, to YouTube. Fortunately, we don't have some of the audio, but we do have some audio that we can uh, go over yet. So. Alrighty, we're on our way back to Fond du Lac. It's been an interesting night. What time? How long did it take, guys? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Didn't even seem like it. it. Seemed like we were only out there for a half hour. I'm gonna upload this to Facebook now. I've got an hour's worth of video. Oh, oh yeah. It's about an hour. Yeah. It is two hours. So drive. hopefully, I mean, we do have that audio. Is I'm gonna actually enhance that audio a lot. There's some parts that we actually heard people talking. There's just no one out here. Like, it's, like, middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. There was a guy talking out in the, the field. This house is, like, a mile away, I think. Yeah, the, yeah there was a guy like out in the woods talking, though. And then it, it was it was an interesting night. So I'm hoping I can, I'm going to analyze the audio, like, a lot on that one. So, alrighty. It's on our way back. Uh, we should have another show coming soon. Uh, it's getting a lot of bad things happen to the team, so we are in the process of uh, getting back on track. Signing off. Alrighty, <clears throat> this is the review uh, that I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm gonna go over here. Um, Jefferson County alone um, actually has so many weird things within the county. Um, I'm just gonna, before I even get into the road itself, um, it actually has that Aslan Park that we actually went over uh, looking. Uh, we had uh, Mary, Mary Southern. She actually did a little report in the area about the red the red-haired giants uh, in this area um, these are this county actually has pyramids in this little town it has little cool pyramids that uh anyway we're probably going to be doing something with that some other time but uh, i just wanted to throw that in uh, this specific area has just so much weirdness but uh, the road itself, I mean, there is actually some real facts behind some of the legends that are about this road that we're doing. Um, one thing is, is I can actually pull the website up here. 
um, that there actually was a, a real murder on this road. Um, there's actually real reported deaths of people dying um, on this road. Um, been trying to find the actual uh, records of the death of like two years ago. Like like we said on the video, like three three days after somebody got killed out there and the fact is is that they went out there looking for things out in the forest um, there's a lot of people that do do break the law out there and we just got to emphasize that you don't you don't do that i mean you could plan you could do it from the road it's it's fine it's just just be safe about doing it you know it is public being on the road anyway um the back to the the murders here. Um, where is it? Um, I mean, it. We, a lot of a lot of the reports are. You know, there's something something freaky out there happening, and I I have to admit that there. You know, I was just gonna something. say it's getting colder. What's the temperature on there? Something out there. Um, I've 30s. seen like little dark mm -hmm. figures myself. You know, it, it, out there, and then I think, um, I was reviewing the the Coles camera there. It, it did have something. Oh, no, I didn't. I had my hands weird. full. I, I don't think it was the oh, autofocus. Huh. Um, I, really, I thought I just I picked up something on the camera here. At it. I realized that, that, that something must have went wrong with that IR camera. Um, that I, it's hard to see into the forest, like she was saying on the video. Um, just trying to find something. I, we had it, I had it marked. Um... I want to actually read some of the witness testimonies out there. I it, they're just unbelievably long. There was uh, this is actually the murder. I'm gonna go over the murder here. Uh, Diane Burchard, murder case. So in uh, April of uh, 1994, um, she pretty much paid. Uh, some high school students to kill her husband um, for some money here. Um, she offered him, like, let's see here, 20000 of the insurance money and uh, the engagement ring in the two cars. She'd actually just give him all this rough story. Um, there is uh, that she just pretty much murdered her husband on this road and I think we actually found the house it's like right on the intersection of the road um, I'm actually looking into this uh, there is actually a movie made uh, from this story it's called Seduced by uh, Madness it's actually a little mini series that they they had for a while off of it that's kind of crazy uh, Here's the other things that we didn't really get into when we were out there. Um, some of it we did. Um, uh, weird f radio frequencies. I'd have to say, yes. Um, you could just be watching the video, and it's not the phone or the or anything that I have on me that's causing that frequency to, to cut into our mic. Um, it's really, really weird that, you know, uh, that our actual, there would actually be a frequency, you know, f messing with our mic out in the middle of the woods there. Um, historical practices of witchcraft in the woods. Uh, yes, there is a lot of re uh, indications that, you know, even if it was some little kid out there doing some uh, little stuff, um, uh, there's definitely uh, a lot of magic practices out there. I would have to say all different types. Right? The recent one, I would have to say the, the cultic one that I actually picked up on. Um, 
the little creatures or whatever, like I was mentioning before, yeah, there's definitely something like that out there. Um, they don't talk. Like, it's just... And I think that's what you know, Cole actually picked up on the camera, because it actually looks like something, like, ran from the camera, like, invisible. It was, it was kind of weird. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dogs out there, um, way off into the distance, but, um... Uh, as for the screaming in that, I definitely, there's definitely something else out there. I mean, you could definitely tell the difference between the dogs barking the and the stuff that we actually picked up. The howling, I mean, at first I really, I'm leaning towards more towards Becky's car, um, but um, it's just, we heard that noise even when her, you know, car was off and it's just, it's weird that, you know, when we have a thermal imager and you're, you know, if there was something close by, you think, you'd think it would actually pick up on its heat signature, and, it, you know, it's not there. Um, we really focused on the heat, heat apps, uh, with the flare a lot on this one. So, I mean, definitely, uh, there's, um, evidence of like uh, dense layers of fog um, we actually experienced that a little bit um, having walked through the whole street length I was aware of a here's actually here's a, a story that I just came across having walked the whole street length I was aware of a shadow floating on the opposite side of the street keeping our pace this was at night and I uh, tested to make sure it didn't, it did not belong to any of us. A friend and both of us witnessed a shadow figure climbing the trees, upon random, uh, random stop in in the car. Our headlights shone directly on the most curved eyes of the side of the tree. So they pretty much seen this thing with the headlights, and it moved through the across the road some shadow thing haven't thought uh, we parked in the front of the abandoned house with no lights on a friend witnessed a hand p pulled back a window okay well so they seen somebody standing on the side of the car pretty much and then there's a hand on the window that you know what I, that's weird because I, I didn't come across this until just now we just, I had seen something on the side of the on the side of the car, and I swear it just that just makes me wow. Okay. Oh, there's more. Um, we quickly became uh, this place. Uh, so much sinister energy. We took it upon ourselves to interview the people that lived on Paradise Road and wrote about it. In a school paper, uh, when we began the interview, hardly anyone would talk to us. One of the houses we went to was still burn, burning from the heat in the house. Uh, both vehicles are blah, blah, blah. They're pretty much focused on the folklore, and a lot of the people that live on this road are actually freaked out. At a, you know, I'd actually go off of the people that live there because you know they they experience that stuff all the time and that one story i was talking about the the man he was actually walking his dog uh, down the road and some invisible thing on the side of the street by the uh, cornfield his dog just like started yelping barking going all crazy and he pretty much ran all the way back home. It was, it was a, that was a weird story. I, I like that one. Um, I'm just hoping that we actually help people out a little bit more. I mean, I would have to say this video is more so on um, not making people wanting to go out there, obviously, but to keep in mind that you know, there's the physical aspect of, you know, getting hit by that 
my car and that actually just reminds me of what I was saying um, yeah if I didn't feel whatever to get out of there uh, we definitely we definitely one of us would have got hurt or killed by a car um, I have that strong feeling that's what of what would what, what, uh, blah that's what would happened uh, if we would have stayed out there longer uh, so yeah, within that three minutes, that that car whipped through there, man. That was just so crazy. I was thinking in that my head at the time, as we're you know driving away. Um, so yeah, if you want to look up um, this, a lot of the, just type in Paradise Road of Wisconsin. Um, there is so much, so much about it. Um, we actually. I can't find it, but uh, there. I wanted to get a little bit more into the Phantom Truck. Uh, there's last time we were out there, there was uh, reports of a truck that like high speedly chases you down the road um, with the headlights off. I just don't see that happening. You know, like how how would somebody be driving down that road? It's dark. With no headlights, I mean, I just don't see that happening, like, unless, um, some people are saying that it was somebody that lived on the road that wanted to scare people off, and, yes, the last time we were there, we did talk to the police department in the area about what he, what the, the police actually witnessed out here. And because they actually have to scare off a lot of teenagers around Halloween and um, just to um, keep the peace with the, the landowners in the area. Uh, there is a lot of people, actually a lot of... I'm just reading some stuff here. Uh, there's just so much that I I wanted to to go over. Uh, I don't think that the, the 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 shadow beings that are out here are related to related to um any of the witchcraft or anything like that i there's a lot of amateur st type stuff that i've seen but obviously i couldn't go into the, the, the actual woods where i actually felt where the actual magic was that the real stuff was been f performed um, but the, the storm stone formation out in the clearing would indicate that it was really old stuff um Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. Uh, there's just so much more that I, I can't um, really go over here. This is so much that I <laughs> um, yeah. We'll go. We're gonna go back here. Um, we're gonna do some experiments too, if I if we can. It's just it's such a dangerous place. I I don't know if we'd ever do it again, and I I really do, would want to, but but it's just such a weird dangerous place i i like it the what makes it dangerous is that you can't hear the car coming because the road turns into right into the forest and it just gets so dark real fast so if anyone that's parked on the side there would get hit instantly like especially if the other person's not you know careful you know you don't it's just i can see it I could totally see how people actually die on this road. You know, there's no really... You won't have time to get out of the way. So, I mean, that's why we're kind of on edge there. So, all right. I'm going to go here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And uh, we'll get the next show out for you.